Good morning from Colorado Custom Coachworks. Well, if you saw the past video, you'll notice that something changed here. And I can guarantee you that I sanded it this morning, uh, <laughs> along with Eric. Uh, the colors were just a little too similar. As you can see in the table, some parts are, the lights aren't, are kind of dark and the darks are kind of light, so kind of, yeah. So we're, we're gonna, what I'm doing is I'm obviously taping this out. I'm gonna stain only the dark pieces, leave the white. We have a white border down here, which I'll show you for a little contrast. Touch up some areas where that uh, white piece matches with the dark, and uh, we'll be on our way. Eric, what are you up to this morning? I am uh, working on the backsplash part of our countertop up here, and uh, which is a multi-part uh, operation. So we got putting 45, <coughs> excuse me, 45s on our on the part so that there's a, another piece that'll basically uh, go that way, attached to it, so that it looks like one big wide board, but uh, gives us a nice big deep backsplash. And basically, it is a, uh, a waterfall backsplash. Yeah. So. It's going to go the whole length of the board, it's going to go down and then around, just like the other piece in uh, the previous video. And uh, <clears throat> this is the driver's side. The sink will go somewhere here, cooktop, either here or here. I haven't quite decided yet, um, but that's the general layout. And uh, I'm excited to get this thing stained, because it's just going to bring out all the colors and, and just transform it. This is what it, everything looks like right now. I kind of like this contrast going on here. Um, I think that, yeah, I think that's going to be wonderful. What do you guys think? I know everybody has an opinion, so please share it. All right, now we're doing a little dry fitting in here. We are going to stain the countertops and all that fun stuff, but right now we've been playing with the sinks. Now, I know. You guys all have opinions, so I want your opinion on this. This is a larger of the two options, or smaller of the two options. I feel like that looks a little small. It reminds me of a bar I used to work in when I had to clean everything. That reminds me of, I don't know, the schoolies bus. So we got our nice European style cooktop over here. Far enough away from the wall. Far enough away from that wall, so I think this is a good setup. So here we go. Big or small sink? Comment below. Big. That no, looks good. So I'm not being as careful with this one, obviously. Yeah. Since it's getting covered. Yeah. <laughs> so this piece here is where the uh, stove uh, stove top will go. Yep. Uh, all that will be covered because there's a lip on the uh, metal. Yep. And uh, but this one over here now is going to have to be <laughs> very yeah very careful because we're going to try and reuse well. You're gonna see the face of it, so, but we're gonna try and reuse this piece as, as kind of like a insert. Thanks for the joke, Reed. You're welcome. I'll <laughs> we're, 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 we're telling jokes off camera here that probably shouldn't be repeated. Anyways, uh, <laughs> um, we are having a good time here. Uh, well, I'm over working on the chest table still, but uh, Eric's over here and uh, just cut out uh, the stove top thingamajiggy. Uh, there we go. That's uh, this, this is where the stove top lives. And over here, we're going to do a nice little time lapse. So it already started, as you can maybe see. But yeah, he's going to cut this thing out and uh, I don't know, let, let's watch. Let me show you a couple few uh, fun products here. Badge recommended this uh, RV water filter thing. That's going to go inside after the tank. 
Um, we did a little fit of the countertops, took some photos. By the way, for all those people wondering how I uh, make money, I have a new sponsorship going on. So if you're curious about that, head on over to Instagram, check out some of the sponsored posts. Um, yeah, we got Miles over here today. He's back. Um, this is what we did with the countertop yesterday. I don't think I showed you guys. I think it ran out of memory or battery or something. But, but uh, yeah, that's where that's going to go. Going to use a router and cut this out. Now, yesterday, I stained this entire thing, but there were a few streaks in the wood from the uh, belt sander. So, uh, Miles gave me a hand and uh, hit it with 80, 120. I'm going to hit it with 220 and uh, clean this thing up and then do a whole entirely different color of stain. number two looks like it uh, definitely darkened it a bit and uh, you know even even parts of this it just yeah it's just crazy it's very interesting what stain does even parts of this that's that's all sanded down nicely it has it pulls out different parts of the the wood so this is what we have not as tan as this other piece here um, so it just came out really, really gorgeous. I think I prefer this color to, to that, but, um, you know, still gorgeous nonetheless. Still into it. And, uh, yeah, just going to finish, finish this thing. Uh, let's go check in over here and see what's going on. So it looks like, Eric, you, uh, you want to describe what you're doing here? Well, we, have the, uh, we cut out for our sink, and uh, our material is actually only three quarters of an inch thick, so... Uh, to get it to with our undermount sink, we needed to have that inch and a half. So basically, once we got the initial hole cut, now we're gluing up additional pieces on all the way around the opening that'll be cleaned up, and then that'll have that effect of having a full inch and a half thick. Cool. Now, is that to properly secure the sink to it the wood? Secure the sink, but it's actually it's almost as much uh, aesthetic because again, when you're looking at the front edge, you see an inch and a half thickness here. So if for some reason all of a sudden here it's only a three quarters going down to where the, and then you see your undermount sink, it just, you know, throws your eye off a little bit. You gotcha. realize it's not really inch and a half thick. So. Yep. A man, a man of detail here. <laughs> so, uh, you guys already saw what so, that one was for. Yep. Let's check in with Reed. What's going on over here? You're, cool. you're the tile cutter, right? Yeah. Or the, ti the tile bee today? Yes. <laughs> the, the cut bee. Oh, the cut bee. <laughs> Oh. Yep. So right. before I was cutting uh, and putting them up in the bathroom, obviously, and Miles just gives me a cut line where he needs to be for the corner. Yep. Cool. So then I just. the first time I've seen tile cut well except the other day but yeah this is this whole project is the first time I've ever seen cut tile it looks awesome and because these go across the top or the top of the window what I'll do is I'll set this oh my guide Down the middle. Whoa! 
awesome. Looks good. Really good. Whoa! My gosh, we got a Walda. Yeah. So here, this piece that we got. Yep. Right here. Okay. Cool. It's gonna butt up right to that. Nice. Yeah, just like that. That's awesome. Oh, so you guys cut yeah, the, uh, the side of it? Yep. That looks great. And then we'll hit the top part with maybe silicone or something. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Cool. Yep. Great work, man. Thanks. Next morning, looks like uh, Eric is uh, just buttoning up some of these areas. Made it super nice and clean. We did have a couple little bobbles with that, but he just yeah. decided to make it a little bit wider, right? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So all those little things went away. The uh, router didn't have the right bit on it. This one is going to be covered uh, with the uh, stove. It's looking 100% amazing. Thanks, dude. <laughs> all right, over here. Last night I uh, cut a hole in here, but in Canada I, I cut this hole saw and uh, hole right there, and it wasn't exactly the right move, so I cut this whole door to have a flap down, and uh, I'm just gonna replace some of the metal here and do a little welding. So, I know there's been a couple people uh, busting my balls for not knowing how to do stuff, so feast your eyes on this, huh? I know, I was the type of person who crawled before I walked, but apparently you guys, you two, three people, apparently you guys just walked out of the womb. Alright, check this out. So, I cut this all out. Welded that circle back in. Now this bottom part fits right into there. It's gonna get riveted in. And then this whole door is just gonna flop down like that to access the vegetable oil. So, that's pretty cool. See, I like learning things. All right, got myself uh, cleaned up. Thanks to uh, Eric and Reed. We moved the bus over a little bit. Kinda taken over Justin's spot with the little blue bus. But uh, just updating you on this stuff, I sa sanded the stuff down with a uh, metal sander. Much better than a metal grinder wheel. Much more forgiving and uh, not so abrasive, not so hard, or chattery on your hands. Um, also, I got this thing all cut up pretty nice here. Probably touch it up just to make it a little bit cleaner. This fits in here pretty well. Quick update. I'm gonna take those uh, straps uh, or I should say hinges for that uh, door thing on the right side. I'm just gonna guide them off. I'll save you all the uh, <laughs> all the labor. Uh -huh. 